Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am Arif, your cloud learning journey partner. So this video would be the last video of 2023 because we are already at the very end of December of uh, 2023. So I really want to make it a very special video for you guys. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about top three highest paying jobs in 2024. So today we are going to explore three jobs that are going to pay a tons amount of money if you have the skill set in 2024. Uh, so whenever we're talking about the uh, salary so we really need to have a clear idea like uh, what sort of salary we are uh, talking about so if you have skills in this in the three fields then it's pretty easy to get jobs that are in between 200k to 250k so if you have a skill set in this field congratulations you're gonna get, make a lot of money in 2024 so in today's video i'm going to discuss about these three jobs and i will also help you to uh, make sure like you know, know exactly how to start to develop your skills in this uh, field so this video is gonna be very interesting so please uh, stick to this video and watch it till the end and uh, so before starting the video i just want to talk about myself well i'm arif i do have more than eight years of experience in cloud computing and cyber security i hold multiple certification in aws azure google cloud uh, besides that also whole CISSP and CISSP certification. You can see my certificate in the background. So well this channel is all about cloud computing, cyber security and uh, career IT related tips. So if you're interested in this field, this channel is definitely for you. I'm gonna upload a tons of videos in this channel still to this topic. So please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos. So without further delay, let's explore these fields. All right, let's just start with the first job that will dominate in 2024. So the first one is a cloud solutions architect. So whenever we're talking about cloud, there are three main key players in this cloud platform. One is AWS, second one is Azure, and the third one is Google Cloud. So if you know any one of this cloud and you have a knowledge like how to build an infrastructure, how to deploy an infrastructure in cloud, then you are in luck. Because uh, after the COVID, now what's happening is that most of the companies, they have at least a little bit of their infrastructure in the cloud, or maybe they are fully transitioning all of their on-prem to the cloud. Because in cloud, it's very easy to manage infrastructure. There is a high reliability. There is a better security. So for that reason, cloud engineers are in high demand right now. So whenever we're talking about cloud uh, jobs, the main, like the most prestigious job that you can uh, think of is the uh, uh, cloud solutions architect so what does a cloud solutions architect does pretty much like um, when you have an application the cloud solutions architect will help you to deploy the application create a, a blueprint that uh, the devops the developers can use to actually deploy the application to the cloud so uh, here cloud solutions architects have very solid job uh, in 2024 so a good question could be like how i can start uh, to learn about cloud solutions architect well i do have an answer for you so uh, the first thing that you can do like if you really want to get the result in a fast way then the first thing you can do is to uh, go for a certification so if you consider aws azure google cloud in all of these three there are certificates related to cloud solutions architect I'm just going to talk about AWS because uh, uh, if we see the current uh, uh market of uh, cloud computing then aws definitely the leader of cloud computing so if you know cloud computing and if you learn aws then it's very easy to learn other clouds too because it's pretty much like programming language once you know one programming language then you can learn the other programming language syntax and pretty much like it's uh, very easy to do this uh, transition so uh, for aws uh, i would highly suggest you to start with aws solutions architect associate it will help you to build a strong foundation for you so once you have the aws solutions architect associate certification then you can go for aws solutions architect professional certification which is an advanced level uh, it is a three hours of exam and uh, uh, it requires a lot of hands-on practice because in the exam you will face the real life uh, scenarios like most of the questions are scenario basis and the questions are like pretty big it's uh, a paragraph basis question and uh, you really need to understand the technologies so my suggestion to you is that go for the certification and whenever you're preparing for certification it's mandatory to uh, uh 
spin up some, uh, some instances to go through the AWS console to deploy a few uh, services because without that you can't pass a certification. So if you really want to make good amount of money in 2024, cloud computing specifically, cloud solutions architect is the way. So please uh, go for it. And if you are a little bit confused, like how do you start uh, to go for the certification, how to prepare for the certification, I have uh, prepared a lot of videos earlier related to this topic, so you can visit those videos. I'm gonna add those video links under my description, this video description, so that you can visit those links. And uh, from there you can learn like a complete roadmap, how can you uh, clear the certification. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the second job that will dominate in 2024, and that is a cybersecurity expert. Just think about it. So whenever we are dealing with any technology, any uh, IT stuff, uh, we are uh, we are concerned about the data because data is very sensitive. So data is the new gold in this era. So we really need to know how to protect our data because whenever we are deploying our application and it's uh, up and live, there are tons of bots, there are tons of uh, hackers out there, they will try to get the data. And uh, recent years, it's pretty common, like for big organization, you uh, hear news the now and then is that the company got uh, comp uh, got compromised, there's a data breach, there's an event and the uh, uh, data is uh, exposed and it's uh, selling under the black market. So for that, a uh, cybersecurity expert is uh, the ultimate solution. So if you really want to make good amount of money in 2024, cybersecurity is definitely the way. Because uh, think about it, uh, for other trends, uh, like uh, whenever new technology coming up, then uh, there is a hype. But uh, if we want to take a safe bet, the cybersecurity is a safe bet. Because uh, as long as we're dealing with data, we're dealing with uh, uh, technology, we really need those people, cybersecurity expert. And the good part is that in recent statistics has found that uh uh, there are more jobs than the qualified cybersecurity professionals. So that means there's a lackage of experts. So if you can develop the skills in this field, then you are on fire. You will definitely get a tons of jobs uh, uh, related to this field. So uh, here is a catch. So whenever we are trying to uh, build our uh, cybersecurity expert uh, skill set, then it's a long roadmap. It's not like uh, I'm just starting, then uh, then I can just uh, get a job in cybersecurity because it requires a lot of knowledge. It requires you to have a good foundation knowledge of uh, networking. You really need to know a little bit of programming. Uh, you also need to have uh, some uh, Linux uh, experiences because uh, all this is in small, uh, requirement adds up so for that reason if you want to be a perfect cybersecurity expert you really need to spend time and educate yourself so i'm going to help you with that so first of all so suppose so i also did the transition because uh, at the very beginning of my career, I started as a uh, cloud engineer. So I didn't have any knowledge related to cybersecurity at that point. But uh, after a few years, I then wanted to explore one more field beside, cyber, beside uh, cloud computing. Then I chose cybersecurity after doing a lot of research, months of research. And what I did, so first of all, uh, I really wanted to get the knowledge, the basic knowledge. For that, I thought like, uh, let's explore some certification. So for certification, I chose so one particular certification that uh, I would suggest you too is that CompTIA Security Plus because this is the industry standard. So if you have CompTIA Security Plus under your uh, portfolio, that means you know the basics, you have the foundation and you have uh, proof that you have uh, gained all of this knowledge. So CompTIA Security Plus is the must thing to have if you want to do a career transition in cybersecurity or you want to start uh, as a, a cybersecurity uh, expert. So that's the first part and after that then you can choose a different field because the, um, the good part is in cybersecurity there are multiple domains you can be a presentation tester you could be a compliance manager so there are tons of branches so you really need to know the basics first so for knowing the basic what i did i enrolled in a program in canada and it was uh, uh, MIC, so it's uh, MISAM, it's uh, the full abbreviation is Masters in Information System Assurance Management, which was like 50% of cybersecurity and 50% of information audit. So from there, I uh, um, I came to know like there are multiple fields and the field that I uh, chose that is uh, compliance. 
because uh, when we were talking about complex, uh, it pretty much covers the ISO 27001, PCI DSS, SOC 2, and some others like COVID-5 uh, and other stuff. So uh, nowadays, uh, for data protection, you really need to make sure that your application is complied with all of these standards. Because if there's a data breach and you are not compliant with these standards, then you have to pay a big penalty, which are in millions. And I also created a lot of videos related to cybersecurity uh, in my channel. Please visit those videos because there I have shared uh, uh, my experience and how I did my career transition beside how I uh, passed the CI suspension certificate certification and some other certification related to security. So from there you can uh, start your uh, cybersecurity journey and from there once you have the knowledge, the skills, then you will be a very valuable asset for your company because you know security cyber security the third and last job that will dominate 2024 is artificial intelligence architect so uh, in 2023 we have seen that how chat gpt has taken over the world now uh, within a few months they have uh, millions millions of users which is a great accomplishment so now the trend is uh, artificial intelligence ai and if you are artificial intelligence architect then uh, your demand will be much much higher for that you need some particular skill set you really need to know python you need to know some frameworks you also beside that right now as most of the time we are using cloud to deploy your um, infrastructure so if you have the cloud knowledge then it will also help and uh, if uh, you want to develop this new skill set the problem here is that this is a new thing so for that you need to have some um, resources to understand it you can get free resources from YouTube from EDX from Coursera and uh, it will help you to gain knowledge so right now, I think this is the perfect time to enter in this uh, specific uh, market because now it's new. There are not that many people who are competent in this field. And if you develop your skill set, if you spend your time, your energy, your effort in this, you will definitely uh, be highly rewarded. So uh, for that reason, please explore this field. This field will, uh, this job, this artificial intelligence architect is the future. And from here, uh, you can earn tons amount of money. So here you have it. Now you know uh, the top three jobs that will dominate in 2024 that will help you to earn more than 200K. And the uh, potentiality is limitless. Uh, so please spend your time and make some new year resolution like you're gonna start this specific uh, uh, courses, this is your certification and go and get it. Cause once you made your mind to achieve something, you can achieve anything in this world. So I'm also planning for some certification for the next year. I'm gonna uh, create some videos about it. What are my next year goals? Like what I want to achieve uh, by next year. So uh, if you have any questions related to this uh, three field or three jobs that I've suggested today, please let me know in this comment section and uh, I'm gonna help you to clear your doubts. Uh, uh, thank you so much guys for watching my videos. Uh, it was a uh, wild ride for me. Uh, when I first started this channel, I was uh, not quite sure like whether it's a good idea, but uh, one once I uh, saw the responses from you guys, uh, this uh, uh, made me to think, yes, this is the right thing that uh, uh, I need to do more often. So I always try my best to share my knowledge, what I have learned throughout my uh, eight years of uh, journey, and I'll uh, keep doing this. And your support and everything is uh, the ultimate motivation for me. Uh, I really want to thank you guys for it. And our community is growing very fast. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel so you can see my upcoming videos. I'm gonna upload a tons of videos uh, related to these topics. So uh, that's all for today. Have a great and wonderful day.